In the roadmap into year end, I highlighted two things for us to keep our eye on, Europe and the debt super committee. Unfortunately, in the intervening two weeks, negative developments on both fronts have broken the, the back of a budding year end rally. <clears throat> Europe will continue to be in the headlines. Greece is at the forefront and I'm hearing more and more chatter about Italy the last few days. I wrote, <clears throat> two days later, the yield on Italian 10-year bonds surged above the closely watched 7% level, resulting in a 47.3.7% drop in the S&P. The European sovereign debt crisis is now progressing towards its climax as larger and more systematically important countries become the focus of concern. Italy's government bond market is Europe's largest at 1.6 trillion euros. 200 billion euros of it comes due during the next six months. A country is bust when the markets decide, Society General's Albert Edwards wrote three weeks ago. Should Italy have trouble rolling over this debt, all of Europe will be staring into the abyss. Yields on Spanish and French debt are also rising. Only Germany remains a safe haven in the mind of investors. But can Germany, can Germany carry all of Europe on its shoulders? Will it submit to do so if asked? Uh, in the context of the European crisis, it's worth uh, commenting on the failure of our debt super committee. The United States has important advantages over Europe, namely the dollar's role as a reserve currency in the global financial system, as well as our ability to print money. But make no mistake about it, we're traveling down the same path as Europe and the committee's failure to reach a compromise to begin putting our financial house in order only moves the day of reckoning closer. Short-term traders are pointing to support around 1185 on the S&P 500, which represents a 50% retracement of the October rally. Take the last six weeks of 2011 to put your portfolio in order because the intensification of the European sovereign debt crisis is likely to precipitate a nasty bear market in 2012. It's worth pointing out that at the beginning of 2008, I wrote a report called How to Invest in the Coming Bear Market. I'm attaching that to this uh, client note for, you to, for those who care to review how that forecast played out. And in 2008, Top Gun returned 14.4% compared to negative 38.5% for the S&P 500. Now is a real good time to become a Top Gun client if you've been thinking about doing so, following my stuff, reading it, you like what I have to say, and for additional clients to add funds because I think that 2012 is going to be a good year for us.